to get our anesthetic or our patient right where we want them. And this light anesthesia, I know veterinarians are uncomfortable with, technicians are really uncomfortable with it, and I was a little freaked out when I first started with Dr. Beckman. And, um, and so I, I kind of want to um, make the point that it is a, a learned skill. And the more you do it, the more you will become comfortable with it and know that, you know what, this dog, his eyes are wide open, his eyes are very dilated, there's absolutely no palpebral, this guy is way too deep. We need to bring him up. He does not need to be this deep for dentistry. As opposed to, wow, this guy is lifting his head, he's paddling, Obviously, that's not deep enough to perform oral surgery. Let's ventilate a couple of times, get him back to that lighter plane where we still have somewhat of a palpebral, but that they're not moving on their own, you know, of their own volition. And so we walk kind of a fine line, and it is a skill. Like any new technique, it is a learned skill. So I want you guys to not try and keep them so light that they've got that paw pinch like you saw in that video that we posted but at least that they've got somewhat of a subtle if not a profound palpebral reflex at least get them maybe to that point and so learn the telltale signs of what you know anesthetic planes look like and what that patient looks like using the numbers on your monitor as well as those physical uh, properties that we're seeing in our patient.